So one side of the skylight is tagged on and I'm trying to line out the second half of it. But what you saw me doing uh, early today was that I, uh, I took these plates to the, to the rocket workshop that I'm a part of and uh, I used the slip roller. Uh, but instead of rolling it into a radius, I used the top roller to more as a press. So by turning the, the threads on each side of the roller, I could force the roller down and get this rather nice curve in it. So these sides are now uh, on. I'll line up the second side and see uh, how big I need to cut the strip that goes on the top.
So it's a Saturday morning. I just uh, finished the last few welds on the, on the skylight. I strapped it onto the, the wheel loader and now I'll, uh, I'll move it back to my boat and do uh, a little bit of grinding on it so it's not super sharp edges and then I'll see if I can get it lifted on the roof. And then another time, let me show you. Another time I will uh, start to make the hatches for it. And I still am trying to find one of these old uh, ram air intakes you have on steamboats, like one of these big funnels that I want to have uh, mounted over there. This section onward will be above the bathroom, so if I have one of these old air intakes it can also have a small fan in it, so it will be able to extract all the, the moist air from the bathroom. But that's for another time. I uh, yeah, finish all the welding, move it to the boat, grind it and lift it on the roof. That's the plan for today. <laughs> Got it in place and surprisingly it actually fits. I was a little bit worried because it looked like uh, it had been twisting a little bit when I was welding it uh, off the frame uh, but it looks really good. So that was it again for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it and uh, if you have any comments or ideas for improving the videos please let me know down below and uh, see you in the next video.